name is Michael Jackson, and this is Prince, and we are Linkin Park. It's true. This is our top three. My favorite record uh, lately is Alabama Shakes Sound and Color. It's been out for a while, but I literally, like, I can't stop. I can't stop listening to it. I, I've memorized the record, so great job, guys. I can't wait for the new one. Um, top three. Wait, you said one. Well, I figured we would give our collective top three. Oh, that means I only get to do one? Well, <laughs> what are your other two? My other two? Okay, obviously, all of the uh, 21 Pilots records combined, because I listen to them. I don't, ha I don't, dis I don't discern uh, amongst their albums. And then I would say I rediscovered The Misfits' Walk Among Us. Been listening to that, like, nonstop. So if you hear me just go, Mommy! Can I come on in? <laughs> Kill tonight! <laughs> Randomly, it's because that's what I've been doing. I'm still listening to the new Fantagram record uh, that came out, when was I like last year? I'm listening to, uh, there's an artist, like a new-ish new rap artist called Wells. It's W-E-L-L -L dollar sign. He's amazing. Uh, the production's really good on that. Like, the music is really cool. What was the other thing? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'll be honest, I'm listening to the new Drake record. I'm listening to it. I like it. I would say Princess Bride. I would also say The Godfather 2. And I would also say that this one, the number three spot, would probably move around a lot. I'm gonna have to go with something that just came to my gut, and I would say that um, Requiem for a Dream, because I just was asked about that, and it popped in my mind, and I saw it not that long ago, and I was like, damn, this is a good movie. Mm -hmm. like, this is like a definitively great me movie. Mm -hmm. um, so, but there's a million of those, so uh, that's what just popped in my head. The Shining. Um. Boom. Um, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Fuck yeah. Right? See, like that's in there. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> For sure. Right. And then I'm going to go. Oh, I was just had a. Godfather 2 was a really good one. Full um, fucking jacket? Oh, that goes in jacket. there. For Full sure. Um, I'm answering for you. <laughs> I'd, yeah, I'd, I might do that. Actually, that's a good suggestion. <laughs> okay, good one. Full metal jacket. Dude, do not for you in that one? Hell yeah. Best. Yeah. Um, at home, in the studio, on stage. That was really good. <laughs> this isn't a definitive top three, so I don't want to see this on my fucking Wikipedia page. You guys, please. This is not my definitive <laughs> top three. This happened with real one. Mike is a huge fan of Tool. Like, no, I like Tool, for sure. Top three? No, not top three. <laughs> not top three. I'd say probably in the top... You know, top 30 is uh, Nine Inch Nails. Um, I'm a big Zeppelin fan. And, um, oh, you want to hear? I'm going to throw a really random one at. This is a really weird one. Creedence Clearwater. Oh, nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Those are very classy answers. Classy. <laughs> um, I would say uh, top three artists, uh, Depeche Mode, Black Sabbath, early Black Sabbath. And let's go with... Um, the Cure. Ooh, that, that, that changes, but I would say um, for me right now, it's uh, Sharp Edges off the new record. I love that song. I love all the songs on the new record, by the way, but that one's my favorite. Um, Breaking the Habit and Gets Me Every Time. I fucking love Paper Cut, dude. <laughs> I love that song. I'll go um, Waiting for the End. Yes, one. We've been playing uh, Leave Out All the Rest a lot lately, and it's like, I, I love that song. Yeah. Um, and on the new album, the, the, uh, the first track is called Nobody Can Save Me. I love that song. And that, that one's, I'm, I'm really proud of that one. Yeah.